No one deserves the title Captain Canada. It's probably Mel Hertig. He gave us the Canadian Encyclopedia, and for his entire career, he's been fighting the good fight against foreign takeovers, free trade, and what he views as the ongoing sellout of our country. At 75, he's still a crusader. His new book is called The Truth About Canada. I think that our media in Canada is pretty good, that they're, the yardstick <clears throat> they use to cover the news is mm -hmm. one of objectivity. You say, uh -uh. not only is there corporate concentration in this uh, industry that's, that's frightening, mm -hmm. but there is a right-wing bias. Where do you see that? Well, try our two national newspapers to begin with. Uh, hey, the C.D. Howe Institute comes out with a report. The Fraser Institute comes out with a report. The Conference Board comes out with a report. Front page. If it's not on the front page of the paper, it's in the first couple of pages or on the front page of the business section. The, um, the, uh, some of the other organizations, which are always referred to as left wing, they don't call the conference board right wing or falling off the right edge of the globe as they should. Um, they are referred to as left wing and their information is either not published or it's put in the back pages or it is published in distorted editorials in the Financial Post, etc. They do that because of their ideological position. We have the greatest concentration of ownership of the media, and particularly in the press, of any developed country in the world, and that's one of the biggest problems we have in this country. I want to. I